it's Caroline with 38eats.com again and tonight we're making our Mexican caviar which is a take on our classic Gulf Coast caviar that consists of black eyed peas but in this recipe we use one 15 ounce can of black beans rinsed and drained one fourth a cup of chopped parsley one fourth a cup of chopped red onion one fourth a cup of chopped red bell pepper one fourth a cup of chopped orange bell pepper, and one fourth a cup of chopped green bell pepper. And here, lastly, we have one half a cup of chopped tomatoes. I'm going to combine all of the ingredients in this large container. First, we're going to start with the black beans. Second, the parsley. Next, the onion. Get a little bit more of that out, because I love onions. We're going to do the trio of peppers. First, the orange pepper. Second, the red pepper. Third, the green pepper. And last, the tomatoes. I'm going to give this a stir and then proceed to make the dressing. I love all these beautiful colors. Now we are going to make the dressing to toss our caviar in. It consists of 1 fourth a cup of olive oil and 3 tablespoons of good balsamic vinegar. We have here one half a teaspoon of salt and one fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to pour the one fourth a cup of olive oil into this small container. The three tablespoons of balsamic. The pepper, I mean salt. And now the pepper. We're going to place this lid tightly on the container and shake. I'm now going to take the lid off of our dressing mixture and we're going to pour it into the caviar and give it a good mix. Stir this around, and it already smells amazing. And we're going to put this lid on tightly and place in the refrigerator for two hours for it to cool and let it all settle. I've now taken the Mexican caviar out of the fridge and placed it in this bowl. We are serving it with my favorite tortilla chips, saltine crackers, and limes for those who like a little extra zest. I can't wait for you to enjoy this recipe. I know that I am.